It's episode 14 of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Further ado, let's get into it. Hello my beautiful buddies, welcome back to another fantastic video. My name is of course Callie. Welcome back. It's episode 14. It's the uh, second, well the first week of October. Uh, this is where we left off in episode 13. Uh, in this episode we are going to Lake and Fuon Towers and visiting a Shrine Crest. That uh, we do after we defeat Ganon. Uh, yeah, episode 14 is going to be interesting. And then, of course, next week, for the second week of October, we will be going into episode 15 and 16. So, first we'll do, in this episode, there were a couple of mistakes that I made for some strange, awkward reason. I'm still confused why I did them. During the filming of the... So the Breath of the Wild, I have no clue. Firstly, trying to climb up this rock wall to the lake. Well, for one and lake, I am 100% sure. I have no idea why. We teleported here and then thought I could climb up the wall. I made so many weird mistakes in the making of this episode. Oh, and by the way, this area, uh, there are two Shrine Crests. Firstly, Evertide, which we will we'll take a look at later. And, of course, the three Giant Brothers, which we are going to now. I will show you the three Giant Brothers. So, by the way, hope you enjoy it. There's going to be a lot going on this October. We will be heading towards uh, Lenebu. Which uh, will be starting on episode 19. And then we'll be doing Water Blight Ganon. Which I can't believe we'll be getting to. Uh, so how are you all doing? Uh, let's talk about me. Uh, I've been doing some stuff of course. I don't know if you know. But on the 16th Saturday I was supposed to go to my perform and stuff. I uh, didn't do that. Uh, it got cancelled and I have no clue why. Uh, but yeah, of course I've been playing a lot more Zelda Breath of the Wild off when recording it uh, since I defeated Ganon. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to actually catch up with it for you guys so now we are up to the three giant brothers so you can see one of the brothers there which is kind of interesting it's one of the uh, the many brothers there's three of them uh, yeah, we want to. We will be doing this shrine crest in the future uh, after we defeat Ganon. That will be a interesting shrine crest to complete. I'm not 100 sure exactly when the episode, what the episode will be, or when the episode will be, but it will be an episode. Uh, the three giant brothers. It's an interesting shrine crest that we have to uh, defeat three giant brothers, uh, three Hinoxes. Yeah, not nice to actually show you guys that. Just a glimpse of one of the shrine crests. That. Uh, will happen in an episode so if you're looking forward to that hit that subscribe button and follow that hit that like button and 
uh, yeah, eventually we'll be doing the Three Giant Brothers. And also, earlier you saw uh, Evertide Island. I don't think you even saw that, but you saw where Evertide Island is. And that will also be a Shrine Crest. I really don't understand why I end up back doing some weird mistakes filming this episode. Like I absolutely don't know what I'm doing. I think I went back to H Drummer because I needed more health. So I'm gonna go and do this stable. Get more health. Bam. I don't know why I keep doing this where I go to the wrong place totally. Uh, by the way, this is before I knew how to play Breath of the Wild, so the stuff that I do in these episodes are so questionable. Lately, I know how to play it and I don't get confused. Uh, by the way, that one is not actually there. That is not actually a memory in this area of the map. This is actually in uh, Central High Wall, or the Central Tower by there. Uh, it's not even in this area. So I have no idea why I decided to think that it's in this area. And also we will look at all the memories uh, in the future anyway, just before we defeat Ganon. Because there is a different... Uh, Storyline of defeating Ganon. Because if you don't get all the memories, you don't get the end credits. You, Zelda goes, Oh, do you remember me? Then kicks you out, and then you have to get all the memories, and then very cute cutscene plays, which is the true ending for Breath of the Wild. If you don't get all the memories. And then we're back at H Drummer, which, no idea why, it did a hard cut there. It's like I lost footage, and I had to, well, I had to stitch it up because I lost footage there. Uh, not sure why I stopped recording and did all that, but I've recorded these years ago when I've I have no clue exactly what I'm doing because I'm missing a lot of core seeds as well by the way which I literally could have picked up and it, we could have got a lot more uh, weapon slots but of course we didn't because we need to do all the core works as well, and for some reason we I didn't do all the core works. I mean, we see a lot of different areas where core works are throughout this season. Uh, so if you see that bridge, that is where we need to go. But at the same time, Thunder and Lightning is on that bridge. Very complicated. And also, I don't know why I went to uh, this tower first when there's literally a shrine right next to the bridge. That is not one of the towers, I don't think. That is actually Ridgeland Tower. Is one of the towers that we need to get to, but that is not the tower that we are looking for. That is Ridgeland Tower. Which we will get to at some point. Now that is Lake Tower, which is one of the shrines that we need to head to. And also we can see Fuon Tower from here as well. There it is. 
So yeah, there is a lot of shrines and there's 120 shrines. There, I think there's 135 shrine crests that we need to sort out. So there is a lot that we have to do. Uh, it's 100% this game. Or try and complete it, but I think we are going to stop at 135 shrine crests and 120 shrines. Because I don't think we're going to get all the cogs, because what's the point since technically we don't need any sh uh, weapon slots. Uh, since, uh, oh by the way, uh, yeah, there is lightning here, and if it attracts lightning, why did I do that? It's very confusing why I decided to do that. This is Ovidium, which actually is the shrine closest to the map, and that's how you die. Because, of course, metal can attract lightning. I didn't realise that at the time. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> so, of course, if you replace it with wood, you're not going to get electrocuted. And I don't... I made some questionable choices during this uh, playthrough of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you do want to see me play it properly, not me messing about, you can do, but you know, after I get to, after I get the Master Sword, because apparently that's the only time I actually start playing properly. I think before then it's just me trying to figure out how to play the game. Because this is still the start of the game, sort of. This is just me messing about for some strange reason even on recording. We actually almost there to actually Lake Tower is actually the most easiest tower. To actually head to because Mother Towers I've noticed is difficult. Lake Tower is pretty easy to do. I thought that Lake Lake Tower is pretty difficult because I thought with all the lightning that I'm gonna just keep dying constantly. Even though I was hit by lightning there. Which is weird. Because I didn't attract the lightning, but I still got hit by lightning. So yeah. Now, for some strange reason, it clears up. Yeah, there. <laughs> it, it clears up. Uh, which is weird for Lake Tower. One minute it's thunder and lightning, and the next minute it's not thunder and lightning. That's just Lake Tower. But yeah, we almost at the top of Lake Tower. But then afterwards, we need to head to Swan Tower. Then after that is me getting all the shrines in Lake and Swan separately. Uh, there are a lot of shrines that we can find, and a few shrine quests, as you saw one of them earlier, which is the uh, Three Giant Brothers Shrine Quest, the Evertired Shrine Quest, which, of course, both we would sort out most of the Shrine Quests later on in the series, after we defeat Ganon. And that is Lake Tower! <laughs> Lake Tower is pretty uh, calm, minus the lightning, but I do like Swan area. Swan is actually pretty beautiful. But 
there we go. That's a uh, lake. Actually, there's a shrine right in the middle of the lake. Yeah, there's a shrine right in the middle of the lake. <laughs> if I recall, which we will get to. Lake Hylia. Yeah. There will be a shrine right in the middle of Lake Hylia. I do remember that, though. So let's get to full of one. So Fawn's going to be tedious. So getting to Fawn Tower is going to be tedious. So firstly I want to head here in this section. Because we can't 100% fly all the way to Fawn Tower. But heading in this di general direction we can actually head to Fawn Tower. I mean, we can wind bomb, but at the moment I haven't figured out how to do that. So, don't go going down in the comments and saying, oh, you could just wind bomb there. Unfortunately, I don't have the skills to be able to wind bomb. I never learnt how to do the wind bomb trick in Breath of the Wild. Uh, because I know that you can use the power glider and wind bomb, which actually gets you there faster. But I never really learned to do that, and how I've, every time I do that, I end up getting, I end up blowing up. So I'm not going to ever try wind bombing in this run. It's weird because I know exact. It's weird that I play like such a noob throughout all this footage, but then all of a sudden I end up going into a professional player. It's such a weird run because one minute I'm like such a noob, and then all of a sudden it goes into me going, "Yes, I know exactly where I'm going." Because it's definitely up here though. If you end up getting to Lake. Oh, yep, that is one of the fairies that you saw there. Which uh, only just realised in this run is that I see one of the fairies. Which for some. There you go, there's the dragon. You see this, this is actually the Fawn Tower. And that's how you get to Fawn Tower. It's uh, pretty interesting because if you climb up the rocks and if you get to the highest points, it makes it a lot easier to get to Fawn Tower so you don't have to climb all the way up. Definitely if you don't uh, focus on your stamina. There is a lot of shrines that you can do that. Uh, Ridgeland Tower is one of the towers, if I noticed, is where it doesn't have a all the way up uh, a ramp. So you can climb up the depth, you see. Uh, so you can climb on one of the rocks right at the top and then fly across, glide across, and then it's right at the top there. It's Interesting. So that is Fawn Tower. So the next few towers just me trying, well, finding all the other, all the shrines that we missed. That's Fawn. Of course, we haven't done them two shrines there because there are uh, they I, they are like mage tester strength shrines. Very difficult shrines to do. 
now we are going to find all the shrines in Lake Amphron Towers regions. I'm not sure why I'm going back to Kyoko though. I could literally stop at Lake. I'm not sure why I'm going back to uh, Keiko Village to talk to uh, Impa. I have no idea. So this is where I'm going to leave it. we got Lake and Fawn Towers. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Not sure why I went back to Impa. Uh, but this is where we're going to leave it. So in the next episode, we'll be visiting uh, all the other shrines, uh, finding them. That's what's happening in the next episode. And then, of course, doing all the shrines in Lake and Thorn regions. Uh, that we can do. Uh, there are shrine crests that we can't do just yet. Uh, so, we'll sort those out and complete all the regions and all the shrines. I'm working on them as we speak. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. If you want to check out more episodes just like this, Check out the other 13 episodes of Breath of the Wild or Breath of the Wild. And if you're watching this future, all of them should be up there. And of course, episode 15 is coming up. Uh, on Thursday, next week. So this is Friday. Uh, so, I will see you in episode 15. In the next five episodes. Wow, can't believe we got here already. It's the 15th episode of Breath of the Wild next week on Thursday. See you in a bit. Well, see you in the next one.